Dog named Pickles found badly abused, left in a box in Danbury, is now getting the love that she deserves. Pickle is under the care of vets who are doing everything they can to make her comfortable and get her back into good health. This back leg is severely broken in a couple different places. Hopefully we can fix that. If we can't, like I said, we would amputate it. But it is an uphill battle. News 8's Noelle Gardner introduces us to that tiny survivor. A three-pound chihuahua has a long road to recovery after she was found left for dead inside this box. <laughs> This is a story about a sweet teacup chihuahua who survived horrific abuse against all odds. A good Samaritan finding the three pound pup freezing in this cardboard box outside the Danbury Fair Mall. We actually pulled the blanket off of her and realized that she was just, something was very wrong with her. Her feet, you know, the way that she stood and the way that her legs were kind of crooked and her tail. Pickles was dehydrated and extremely malnourished. She has multiple broken bones, making it hard for her to stand, and a broken tail that will never wag. I would imagine that she was dropped because she's so small, her bones are so, so tiny. Pickles is about five to eight years old and scared of her own shadow. One of our vets had mentioned that she probably was kept in a crate a lot. That might be the reason why her feet in her front are a little bit funny. Brave little Pickles will have to undergo several surgeries. Her teeth are totally rotten. Most of them will probably come out. She's going to need surgery on her front feet so that she can walk a little bit more comfortably. This back leg is severely broken in a couple different places, so she'll hopefully we can fix that. If we can't, like I said, we would amputate it. Why the name Pickles? That was the first thing we thought of, and we thought it was cute and funny, and, and we figured everybody would uh, remember the name Pickles. She's hard to forget, a three-pound chihuahua with a big personality. Reporting in Danbury, Noel Gardner, News 8.